Welcome to the Brawl of the Wild, everybody. It is the biggest game of the season for both of these teams. Montana versus Montana State. A rivalry that in recent years, the Bobcats have been dominating, I believe, in this series. The Grizzlies have only won twice. They won the first one, and then I think they won it in season four. They still got Brandon Wheeler as their quarterback, and he's putting together a solid junior year. 20 touchdowns to 12 picks. It's nothing too spectacular, but he is an impact player, and he's got some pretty good legs that he likes to use. Washington is their leading receiver, 800 yards and four touchdowns for him. Their second receiver when it comes to the yards is actually going to be missing today's game. Their offensive line has been okay. They got a good handful of tackles for loss this season and sacks and a number of guys with one interception on the season, but they have been struggling this season, four and six going into today's game. Meanwhile, Montana State, golly, man. The past few games have been really up and down. It's been a lot of down, actually. After starting off the season so well, we have stumbled so hard late in the season with some conference play, which uh, just seems to tend to happen almost every year at this point. It's kind of frustrating. Hopefully, we can change that in uh, the upcoming season. But right now, our focus is on defeating the Grizzlies. After a pretty good kick return, Montana gets the football first. It's going to be a direct snap to Mooney, who picks up six yards on his first carry of the ball game. Now Wheeler's going to try the option play, but we're not even going to let him get that off. The Grizzlies face with an early third down. Play fake, and Wheeler goes down. Ball comes out. Mario Harris jumps on top of it. Not only does MSU force the three and out, they get the turnover. Vince Robinson goes right up the middle here as he tries to surpass 1,000 yards in today's game. Third down and two. We give it to him and he is denied first down yardage. Great stop there by Montana. We're going to bring out the freshman kicker, Gabriel Fields. He's had a pretty solid season so far and he nails the 43-yarder. Grizzlies down 3-0 early. Wheeler's going to try to run, and it's not going to work. Great job by Pat Hadley, the senior, getting another sack. The Grizzlies face with a third down and long. Wheeler goes deep to the right side, and he's got Tim Everett, who beat Brett Garrett pretty badly on that right side there. Huge play gets them out to the 26. Out of the gun, Wheeler's going to try to run it again, and he has not learned his lesson yet. Once again goes down, it's Morris, the defensive tackle with the sack. Wheeler floats this one left side, though, and he's got his man, Washington, and that's going to be a grisly touchdown. Very up and down on that drive, but it results in a 30-yard touchdown. A beautiful pass from Brandon Wheeler, too. You cannot defend a perfect throw like that, although he did beat uh, Kevin Hartz there. It was, that was just a beautiful play by the Grizzlies, and that's going to give them the lead. Larry Lane inside of his own five on the kick return. Now the Grizzlies started off today's game with a pretty solid kick return. And we've got one of our own now just shy of the 40. Let's give the football to Vince Robinson again. Nice spin move as he takes it up the gut. And we're already in Montana territory. Four yards shy of a thousand now. Fuller's going to take this one to the right side. He loses the football. It's going to be scooped up by Brown. Fuller actually had a terrible game last week. Got benched in favor of Lee Mullins. So maybe a little bit of a quarterback controversy. But he is getting the start in this Brawl of the Wild. He's going to air it out downfield for Aaron Martin. And that's one reason why he is playing. And he is, he is so full of potential. Vince Robinson takes us to the left. Makes the first defender miss. And falls forward on the tackle. Picking up about nine. That's going to take us into the second quarter. Fuller looking for the touchdown. And instead, he's going to get caught from behind by Ryan for the sack. That makes it third down and 11 for MSU. Fuller under some pressure again. And he's going to be caught from behind as they send. I think that was the cornerback blitz. He ends up getting back to the line of scrimmage, though. But that will force us to have to settle for another Gabriel Fields field goal. A little bit shorter this time as it's from 31 yards. The Grizzlies going five wide as they open up this next drive. Pass over the middle is incomplete off the mark despite his receiver diving for it there. Play action. Now Wheeler fires right side and he's going to be picked off by Eddie Fine. Great job getting in front of the pass and not a great throw there from Brandon Wheeler. Montana State has a chance to recapture the lead on this drive. Fuller's under some pressure and he couldn't get the pass off. Brought down at the 50. It's going to be a loss of 13. 
Fuller looking to throw yet again. Floating this one deep for Lane. And he holds it in inside the 10. Gets away from the defender for the touchdown. Holy cow, what a play by Larry Lane in his last regular season game. Now the senior receiver impact player. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Not only does he come down with the catch, he tells the defender to get off of him. And Montana State takes the lead again. After hitting the extra point, we are only up by six right now. It's a bit too early to consider going for two. And the defense comes up with a nice tackle for loss on first down as it's a loss of three. After the incompletion, it's third and long. Wheeler's going to run it himself. And finally, it's going to work for him as Montana State left him completely unaccounted for. He's going to get the first down and more as he gets all the way out to midfield. Great job there by Brandon Wheeler using his legs. He's going to try to do it again. He actually pitches this one back out to his running back, Mooney. And that's going to be a pretty good gain for Roger Mooney. They're going to give it to Roger Mooney again. And this time, Kevin, or Max Lloyd rather, gets a big hit there. And now Wheeler's going down for the sack on third down. It's Mario Harris this time who's having a fantastic season as well. And they're going to have to punt. The Bobcats looking to extend their lead now, and that's going to bounce just right off of Paul Washington, who had a fantastic first half to the season, second half not so much. Fuller looking his way again, floats it up top, and Washington does come down with this one, making up for that drop, and that's going to be a first down, just our fourth first down of the game today. Fuller's going to run here, and he has a gain of about eight as he takes it to the left side, and the Bobcats are going to use their first time out. Fuller floating this one deep for Lane again, but he's not able to come down with that one. Third down and two. Fuller, quick throw to Larry Lane, and he drops that one on third down. Montana State's going to remain on the field for fourth down, rolling the dice. Fuller rolling to his right. He's going to run for it, and they're not going to give it to him. What in the world? Taking a second look at this, it definitely looks like he got the ball over the first down marker, but we're not able to challenge it, and the Grizzlies are going to take over. Downfield, it's Washington making another spectacular catch and some pretty tight coverage as the Grizzlies are looking to capitalize on that shady turnover of downs there. I don't know how much they're paying the refs, but they're definitely pay paying them more than we are. This throw to the end zone, it's going to be caught. General Washington with another spectacular grab. This man has been playing lights out in this first half of play, and that's his second touchdown today. Some pretty tight coverage once again by Orts, but not quite good enough, and that will give them the one-point advantage at halftime. Montana State goes back to the ground game as we open up the third quarter. It's a nice run by Vince Robinson. Just his sixth carry of the game, but he's averaging over seven yards per carry. He's going to get it again, and he's got more than seven yards on this next one. That's closer to 15 as he's got a first down. Still trying to stay balanced, though, with the pass. Fuller rolling to us right. You know what? Screw staying balanced. We're going to run it yet again. Fuller using his legs. That's going to get us up to 57 rushing yards so far. Off the play fake. Now Fuller fires left side. Passes tipped a couple of times and falls harmlessly to the grass. Fuller looking to throw again. Instead, he's going to be sacked again. Fourth down and 19. That's going to take us outside of field goal range, and we're going to have to punt. We did pin them pretty far back in their own territories. They're going to start this drive from their own nine-yard line, but Tim Everett will get them a little bit of breathing room on that reception. Gain of 11. It's a high snap for Brandon Wheeler and a quick throw, which is going to be just way off the mark there. Here's a carry by Mooney. The Grizzlies have been pretty pass-heavy today, but when they've run the football, it's gone pretty well, especially when they've given it to their running back, and he has a pretty good game there. Wheeler's going to fire this one downfield, and it's going to be incomplete as he was looking for Washington. He's either like on the money with these throws or just wildly inaccurate, or he's going to get picked off. Jesse Schroeder comes up with the interception here as the linebacker jumped in front of that one. Montana State with some fantastic field position now after the interception. That's the second turnover we've gotten going our way so far today. Can we take full advantage of it? Great throw to Larry Lane. Found the hole in the zone there, and Kevin Fuller just dropping a dime. Fuller wants to throw the football again. Is he going to look for the touchdown? He's going to run for this, and he's got about seven or eight yards on the ground. 
He is still in the negatives when it comes to rushing yards, though, because of all the sacks he's taken so far today. He's going to throw to the end zone here, and Paul Washington with another bad drop. Third down and two, quick throw, touchdown, Larry Lane making up for that drop he had earlier. Even better, he's got the score, and Montana State has the lead again. Back and forth we go in Missoula. Here's a one by Brandon Wheeler, and once again, MSU's defense left just him unaccounted for. No spy or anything like that, pure man coverage, and Wheeler able to take full advantage of that. He's dropping back to throw this time to the right and off the mark. We do have three sacks and two interceptions so far on the game, but uh, still a pretty tight one here. Here's Mooney on the pitch. He takes it out across the 40-yard line, and they're cooking in MSU territory now as this time they got the read option to work. Out at the 37-yard line now. Off the play fake, and he did not bite on it. Great job there by Mario Harris. That's going to be a loss of five on first down. Going for another option play. Instead, it's going to be a fumble. Mooney jumps on top of it, but they still lose five more yards. Looking for the third down and 20 conversion. Wheeler, under some pressure, fires off his back foot. Incomplete pass, double man coverage, and Dave Austin, the intended receiver, a little shaken up there, and he's going to be out for the remainder of today's game. Last play of the quarter, we give it to Robinson, and he's not going anywhere. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. Now we give it to Robinson again. He lost the football, and the Grizzlies jump on top of it. We've played a clean game thus far, limiting our inter interceptions, which we've done a lot of this season. And then, of course, we fumble the football, give them some great field position, but they don't capitalize on it on that play. Second and goal off the play fake again. Brandon Wheeler's going to look to run for it. He's inside of the five. Great tackle by Jesse Schrouder, his fourth of the game. Third down and goal. The Grizzlies are going to run it. And Roger Mooney's going to get tackled into the end zone for the Montana touchdown. Tying things up at 20 apiece and taking the lead after the extra point. Back and forth. We continue to go in this one. Fuller rolling to his right off his back foot. What a throw to Aaron Martin out over at the 50-yard line just about. Great job by Fuller floating it over the defenders. Here's a high snap for him. He's going to run it. He has first down yardage before he slides. And finally, now he is in the positives when it comes to running the football today after all those sacks we've taken. And there's a nice run by Vince Robinson, keeping the defense honest and picking up another quick set of 10 yards. Fuller pressured, fires off his back foot. And he's got Robinson inside of the five. Great job just on the move, getting it out to his running back. We're going to give it to Robinson now, but he's going to lose a couple of yards there. Second and goal. Fuller looking to throw, going to the end zone. And the pass is going to be incomplete, very luckily so, as it was actually nearly picked off. Third and goal. Fuller looking to throw off his back foot. Touchdown, Larry Lane. He's got the hat trick. Three touchdowns for the senior wide receiver. And that's going to once again give us the lead. And now it's time to go for two. Fuller rolling to his right, doesn't have anyone open. He's going to do it himself, and this time they're going to give it to him as he gets the ball just over the plane. Montana State's going to take a seven-point lead with two and a half minutes left to go. But the Grizzlies have been pretty good on offense so far today, and that proves there as Flores makes this reception, picking up about 15 yards. Come on, defense, you got to get us a stop. Play action again, and Wheeler's going down almost immediately. Mario Harris again, and now Wheeler having to limp off of the field. Nothing too serious for him, though. But for now, the backup quarterback, Bobby Williams, is going to be in for third down. He's got time, but not that much of it. He's going to be sacked. Harris with his third of the afternoon. Fourth down and 18, and it looks like the Grizzlies are going to remain on the field. It's going to come down to the backup quarterback here. He's going to get it out to his man who loses the football, but the Grizzlies jump on top of it. So they do convert the fourth down. They're still alive in this game. They go five wide here. Pass floated to the left is going to be caught by Washington, but he ran out of room. Second down. Wheeler back in the ball game just to throw it directly into the grass. 
Once again, the Grizzlies are faced with third down. Wheeler looking to throw, and he's going to be sacked. Eddie Fine came in on the nickel blitz. Fourth down yet again. And the Grizzlies, they went for it on fourth and 20, but they're not going for it on fourth and 16. I don't understand this play call whatsoever. Cameron Whitaker on the return, and he's going to be inside of the 15, just about down at the 17. All we have to do is pick up a first down, though, and this game should be over. All the Grizzlies have left is their timeouts. I don't know why they didn't go for it on fourth down. Second down and one. Robinson's got the first down and more out at the 39-yard line. The Grizzlies are going to burn their second timeout, but I, I'm afraid for them it's going to be a little too late. Indeed it is, as the Bobcats are going to win the Brawl of the Wild here in Season 10. That's going to advance us to 8-2 and two against what's supposed to be our biggest rivalry. We were 2-2 two and two at one point, but uh, in recent years, Montana State has been dominating very similar to real life here in I mean, going back to that 4th down and 16 punt, I don't know what they were doing. They go for it on 4th and 20 with their backup quarterback, but with their starting quarterback, they don't go for it on 4th and 16. I mean, I'm not going to complain. That led to a victory here. Gets us to 8-4, and four, and I believe we should have one more game to this season. A bowl game there. Fantastic last regular season game, though, for our receiver Larry Lane. Three receiving touchdowns for him, and they were all just spectacular. And then six sacks for the defense. Two for Eddie Fine. That nickelback uh, blitz is a little bit overpowered. We did also get the interception there. We actually got a handful of interceptions. Uh, we forced a handful of fumbles. We recovered one of them. And with that performance, performance sterling johnson the center is going to be committing to montana state that was the last guy we were going after we also got the offensive and defensive players of the week inside of the big sky conference you could say this game it was a pretty good game Eastern Washington is going to get a huge upset here over Northern Arizona, which is absolutely fantastic for us as uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this uh, conference this year just because of how good NAU has been doing this season. And that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, that'd be awesome if you left a like. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.